welcome back to Family Tanks. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, we have got some big stuff today. However, I think Zoshi here has a message for us before we get started. Please like and subscribe, and it really helps our channel improve and be better. Absolutely. So there will be a link right here. Take a second. Please click that link, and that subscribes you to our channel so you can stay on top of everything that we're doing. We have a goal, and we need your help to get there. We want to get, how many did we say? 500, 500 subscribers, subscribers by Christmas time. Yes. But we can't do that without your help. That helps us. That helps us build our channel and make sure that we can keep doing cool stuff. Make and make sure better. that you get all the cool information that we want to share with you. So click right here and subscribe and see if we can hit our 500 by Christmas challenge, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are we doing today? We are making, showing you... A hexagon tank we got from your friend. That's exactly right. So my good friend Dee um, let us know. She saw our channel. She was excited about what we were doing. And she let us know that she had an, uh, an old tank that she used to keep two Chinese water dragons in. Mm -hmm. She had two baby water dragons for a little bit um, named uh, Fidget, Fidget and, and, Franklin. and Franklin. And their picture of them is right here. <laughs> and these guys are... Um, they used to live in this uh, hexagon tank that we're going to show you in a second. So she said she had no use for it. It had been sitting in her garage, and she gave it to us. Awesome. Thanks, Dee. Thank you. And we're going to turn it into something. So let's take a look. Well, here's the tank coming in very soon. So my dad's carrying it in. It's quite big. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta How great is this? It's so big. Like, so this is an acrylic hexagon tank. I'm guessing it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 gallons. And wow. it has seen some life and it's seen some action. It's and got some marks on it. Zosha, can you tell me the two materials that they make tanks out of usually? Glass and acrylic. Gra glass and acrylic. That's mm -hmm. right. Now, what's good about glass? Uh, it doesn't scratch as easily as it acrylic. It doesn't scratch as easily, but it's also brittle and breaks. Yes. It's also very heavy. Yeah. Acrylic is super, super strong, and it's much, much lighter than glass, but it does scratch a little bit more easily. It's but big. the cool thing about acrylic is you can fix those scratches. Okay, guys, so what we've got here is our new tank, and we are going to try to restore it. So I'm going to actually pull the camera closer. You can see some of the swirling and nastiness in this old acrylic tank. And I've got some buffing compound off of Amazon, and we're gonna give this heck and see what we can do about making this look like new again. Zosha, show us how it went. Look at it, look, it's so clear. It's almost like I could see through everything. I know. We use the Novus wow. acrylic polisher system, and I have to say, this worked, worked so amazing. Well. And I did this by hand, too. We didn't even use power tools. So and no buffing or anything like that. That was a microfiber cloth and a lot of elbow grease. But this looks amazing. Oh, it's so smooth. And so I will call this a win. So now we got to decide what to do with it. But that's where we need your help. Yes. Write in the comments what you want it to be. Option one, lionfish. Ooh, a lionfish. Ooh. So that's one option is to have the tank sitting there with a nice lionfish going around like inside. Lionfish right? Like, so that's something we could do. Number two, would African be cichlids. African cichlids. And we'll show a picture of all three of these at the end of the video. A, B, and C. And I want everybody to put in the comments what they want. But African cichlids, they come from two special lakes in Africa. And they're really colorful and they move around a lot and, and go like in and out of rocks and stuff. And a lot of activity. Or what's their third option? I'm um, like a tetra school going around. The exactly. So we could set it up so there's current going around the hexagon. And, and have like a piece. school of tetras that move around with like a big piece of wood coming out the middle yes. so that is a, a lionfish b, b african cichlids or c tetra school so we want to hear from you right down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe help us get to our 500 by christmas challenge yes all right thanks everybody and have a good day bye, bye. 